Okay, welcome to part two. Um, today we're going to um, put the uh, hardware together and then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, load the operating system. And um, so just follow along, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and set up the uh, software now. Okay, so let's start looking at the software side of things. Um, here we are on the Max to Play website, and we're going to download the um, operating system or the uh, image file. So we go to the download section, and we're going to use the Max to Play Raspberry Pi image. Um, this is set up for the uh, for the Raspberry Pi Model 3 and it's also set up for our Just Boom DAC. So we'll go ahead and download that. <clears throat> they also have other um, image files for different systems. So to download it we just click on the download and um, I already have a copy of this downloaded so I'm going to go ahead and stop this download just for the interest of time. Alright, now we're going to turn our attention to the SD card. The first thing we have to do is erase and uh, format the SD card. So here in the Mac I'm going to go to Disk Utility. And uh, choose the SD card. And then choose Erase. And the one thing you want to make sure is that uh, the format that it's going to format it in is, the, is a FAT file. Uh, since this is a larger SD card, it's going to be an XFAT. And it's erased. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find out what the... Um, identifier name for this SD card is and to do that we go into about this Mac and then into system report and then we look for the for the proper uh, menu section and it's not in storage it's actually in card reader and we look down and we see the BSD name for this uh, SD card is Disk 3. Right here it says BSD name Disk 3. And we'll make a note of that uh, for when we're going to transfer over the um, operating system onto the SD card. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we need to unmount the SD card. So we go back into Disk Utility and we just hit Unmount and there it's gone. Now it's all ready to write. Now to copy over the, uh, the image file onto the SD card, we're going to do this in the terminal um, on the Mac. So the command is sudo dd bs equals 1m and then we're going to put in the file name that we're going to copy over and uh, my Linux is pretty rusty so um, 
I'm going to make some mistakes here, and I'll just fast forward through the mistakes until I get it right. Uh, but basically, we're putting in the path of uh, the file path for where this, for where the computer can find this file. And you can see here the bonehead mistakes I made here. Alright, and now we're going to tell it where to write to, and this is the slash dev. slash disk 3 or our disk 3 so that tells it that uh, to write to the um, to the SD card make sure I haven't done anything wrong and go ahead and run it now when you're running this you can hit uh, control T and it'll tell you um, how it's coming along I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up um, so that we're not watching paint dry here. and we're done so the next thing I'm going to do here is um, make sure that the files wrote onto the SD card you can see here it has and then we'll go ahead and eject the disk and um, insert it into the Raspberry Pi and uh, start setting everything else up So what Max to Play has done is designed their system that you can run um, the software and hardware headlessly, which means that um, we should be able to set it up and uh, and control the system without attaching the Raspberry Pi to a monitor. Uh, we can um, control the Raspberry Pi over the over our network. Um, so the first thing uh, that we're going to want to do is attach this to the network. Um, now, Max to Play allows two different ways to do this. Um, the first way that I tried was to hook an Ethernet uh, connector up to my router and then up to the Raspberry Pi and then um, manually enter uh, the uh, network name and password. Um, but after several tries, I figured out that this wasn't going to work. Uh, they also offer a, um, a setup via uh, WPS. Um, so the first thing that you have to do is you have to let the software load first. Um, so, so you boot it up the first time, you let all of the files extract and, and, and you let everything run. And then uh, the second time, um, then you go ahead and unplug it and then boot it up the second time and um, at the same time press the WPS button on your router and uh, and in my case it set everything up so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this now um, I've rebooted it or it's rebooting again and I'm I just go ahead and press the WPS button and um, we'll see if it took okay so I'm gonna open up the uh, IP address to the router to make sure that the Raspberry Pi is connected to um, to our network so we'll go into the device list. Um, by default, um, this is going to be named Max to Play. So we'll go down here and find Max to Play and make sure that our WPS setup took. And there's Max to Play right there. Um, and as you can see, it's uh, connected. Um, to our network via Wi-Fi. All right, uh, so I guess this is a good place as any to uh, stop this part of the video. Um, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and um, and connect to the Raspberry Pi uh, via our internet, 
and uh, set up all of the options in the Max to Play software so that uh, we get our server set up. Alright, uh, so stay tuned for part three. Thanks for watching.